You're on. Oh, great. Good morning, Madison Mustangs. Wow, happy Wednesday. Another beautiful day here in paradise, and it's going to get hot. So, I just wanted to say hello to everybody. I know we're back from break, and we're on that final countdown coming to the end of the school year. And so, I've got, a, got, got just a few reminders for everybody. And so, I'm really excited to get through April. We have testing coming up at the end of April. We have amazing things happening. So, just a few real reminders, and just wanted to get out and say hello to everybody. So, just wanted to remind kids and everybody that cell phones need to be turned off, put away in your backpack, in the big backpack, not uh, part, not in the small little pocket. You want to be in the big pocket, okay? Have it down in the bottom of there if you have to bring your cell phone every day to school. So make sure that they're turned off, put away. If you're using it in class for a project, make sure that you turn it off, put it away before you go on passing period, okay? Second thing is gum. Remember, we don't chew gum at school for a variety of reasons and so I don't blame you I I want to chew gum but instead what I do is I buy some Altoids or some other mints and so that my breath smells good because I don't want to have smelly breath either so get some mints totally appropriate a great replacement for gum the other thing is dress code as it gets hot it's gonna get hot this week Inland Valley is gonna see a hundred degrees on Thursday which is tomorrow and so that means here, expect 85 to 90 degrees tomorrow. So make sure you bring water bottles, make sure you bring, you know, you dress accordingly, and make sure you're, you're following the dress code. And the other thing is tardies. So tomorrow we're gonna start sweeping tardies. So that means calling homes and assigning consequences for tardies. And so that means you need to be in class when that bell rings, please. Um, it's really important that you're not tardy because it is disruptive for the beginning of your classes. Other thing is we have events coming up at the end of the year every year. And so please don't be that boy or girl that gets on the lot, lot list, a loss of privileges list. And remember, that's 30 days. And so if you get on the lot list, you might not be able to participate in the end of the year activities. And so you want to make sure you don't be that boy or girl that gets their fourth cell phone violation, or gets a referral when there's a sub, or gets a suspension, okay? Now remember, and why I'm bringing this up is, we are here to help you. Every adult on this campus is equipped and trained to assist you if you have any needs. And that means if you're having some drama with your group of friends or some interpersonal conflict, there's no reason to keep that conflict going because you have so much help here that you can get help so it doesn't turn into a big issue. And so come find us. There is ways to get help. We have the PSST line on our website, so you can be anonymous or go to a trusted adult to let them know that, hey, there's gonna be some issues with some people and or issues with me. And so that we can help you out before, we want you to check yourself before you wreck yourself is basically what I'm saying here. And that means for you and your friends, if you see a friend in need, you definitely, what great friends do and best friends do is we support each other and that means we get help when kids can't solve their own problems and that's okay because we're all learning and we're at that age that we don't have all the skills and that's totally fine and that's why we're here to support you. Big spin every week. Remember, we've got $25 to $50 um, prizes. Uh, last big spin, we had a student who won the uh, um, big uh, the air, get air. And that was a $35 um, prize. Excuse me, I'm gonna <coughs> Pardon me, Whew. The lights, sometimes bright lights make me see. Has that ever happened to you when you walk outside and from a house and it's bright lights outside of the sun and it makes you sneeze? I don't know what that is, it's a real thing, but it happens to me all the time. Um, I used to think it was just my big nose until I found out other people had the same issue where they go out in bright lights and they just sneeze. Passes, remember. If you're going to use the restroom during period, or you're taking pictures for photo photography class, or you're doing NBC stuff, make sure that you have your passes. Because every kid who's outside during school time, class time, we need to make sure you have a pass. Okay, so remember to bring those at all times. And now for the big thing. We're going to be calling your parents today. Everybody's parents are going to get notified about a new change in our dress code. Okay, there's a clothing brand that we are not going to allow to be on our campus anymore due to what it, what it's, what it represents, and that is the cookies brand. Okay, so starting today, 
We'll let your parents know, but starting Monday, if we see anything cookies related, the brand cookies, we will be, that's going to be a dress code violation. We do not promote uh, the cookies brand uh, because it promotes marijuana, okay? And so please, if you have any cookies brand, make sure you don't wear it at school anymore. We'll be letting your parents know what the cookies brand is and what it represents, and um, we will no longer have that. So I just wanted to get out here in front of you to let you know that we will be notifying you now, and we'll be notifying your parents today, all the families and staff. And then we're gonna give some warnings Thursday and Friday, but on Monday, we are going to enforce, fully enforce with consequences uh, if you continue to wear the cookies brand. And then otherwise, have a great, awesome day. Great to see everybody out there. Uh, can't wait to see you at the lunches, before school, after school, classrooms, etc. Continue to do great work. And uh, remember, if you need anything, let me know. And I'll be talking to lots of you today. I'll be doing more empathy interviews. And that what I mean by that is doing some one-on-one -on -one and small group interviews with each of you, or at least groups of you to get some feedback on how Madison's doing and the direction we're going in. And uh, yeah, so we'll continue that. And then some of our groups will be doing uh, some other fun stuff. So can't wait to see each of you out there today, the rest of the week, you know where to get help and you know where to get help for your friends or yourself. Remember, you're a trusted adult on campus and you can always come to me or any of the administrators as well. Oh, and the last thing, if you notice, there's been a change in the front office. And that change is part of what happens when we have empathy interviews, when we talk with students and we talk to families. And we did, we we're proud to announce that we were able to create a, two different wings in our front office. And you'll notice that we changed, if you have to go to the assistant principal, if you're in trouble or if you're not, because a lot of kids go to the APs and not in trouble, I hope you know that. Actually, more kids go to the AP office, not because they're in trouble. Pretty interesting fact. Um, AP students will be entering the front office over by the lunch area now. And students who are going to the health office or seeing a counselor or going to see Pass AmeriCorps or Yahira, they're going to come through the opening uh, with all the skins with the Mustang and the three R's at the top of that door over there by the 400s going towards that green gate, okay? And so what we've done, we've been able to create a, you know, a caring social emotional corner in the back part of our um, office, which is awesome. And then we've been able to keep our administration, sometimes the behavioral side up in front so that they're separate now. So we don't have any, any inter, intermingling there. So I just wanted to let you know why those changes occurred and so that everybody's aware of those changes. We're really excited about it. Um, and. We look forward to seeing every single one of you um, today. So thanks again for your time. I appreciate it. And go Mustangs. You're doing a great job. Remember, get those three R cards. Uh, tomorrow I'll be out there. I'll collect all the cards. We'll, we'll be picking names again for the big spin. Yeah, have your teachers catching you doing good with the three R Mustang cards. And we'll be putting more of those cards for teachers. I know they're running out um, in the staff lounge for them to pick up and so that they always have enough three R cards to give out while they catch you doing exhibiting those three R's, respect, responsibility, and relationships. Okay, I look forward to seeing everyone. Thank you so much.